We are asked to indicate all the bronsted lauryl acids in the following chemical reaction. So we can remind ourselves of the definition of a bronsted lauryl acid, which is a species that donates a hydrogen ion, otherwise known as a proton. So a bronsted lauryl base is what accepts that hydrogen ion. So we can look at the equation describing the chemical reaction that we're given and see that hydrochloric acid reacts with water to form hydronium and a chloride ion. So water can serve as an acid or a base depending on the situation, but in this case the hydrogen from the hydrochloric acid is going to be donated in the form of a hydrogen ion to the water molecule to form hydronium. And if you don't know that HCl is a strong acid, you can see based on our equation that that must have donated hydrogen because we're left with a chloride ion on the right hand side. So I will call HCl acid 1 and water acts as a base in this situation, so this will be base 2. And then we can briefly talk about conjugate pairs. So the conjugate base to hydrochloric acid will end up being this chloride ion, which I'll denote as base 1. So acid 1 and base 1 form a conjugate pair. And we can see that this reaction is in equilibrium by this double arrow here. And so our chloride ion can accept a hydrogen ion from hydronium to go back to hydrochloric acid. So this reaction can move forwards or backwards. So the chloride ion serves as a conjugate base. And in the same way, hydronium can be labeled as acid too because that is forming a conjugate pair with water. In a similar way, hydronium can act as an acid by donating an ion to the chloride ion. And so now we can see the conjugate pairs. So the bronsted lauryl acids are hydrochloric acid and hydronium, which is the conjugate acid to water.